Okay, since Wish got like a low score on Rotten Tomatoes, let's see what type of score they got. What? 53? <sighs> I am so speechless right now. <clears throat> hey guys, this is Media Duty Hunter here once again. And today, wow. Wow. Just wow. I'm gonna do a rant on Disney's Wish getting a low score on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, so like back on Friday, it actually got a 64%, which, okay, that's actually kind of decent for a Disney movie, I guess. But then a couple days later, it got a 50, like a 50 to 57% or 59. Really? So this is how, so Disney. <clears throat> so, so, sorry. So Rotten Tomatoes. Is this how you're going to ruin Disney 100th anniversary? Rotten Tomatoes. You officially lost my respect for this. First, we got Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which got a low score. Then we got the Mario movie, which also got a low score, but a lot of people liked it. Then we got um, Shazam. And we even got Elemental that got a low score on Ryan Tomatoes, which thankfully, it's now at 75%. Thank the Lord God. Okay, Disney. Okay. Disney, you, you can't... Okay, Ryan Tomatoes, okay. You can't just... You can't just give Disney films a low score. Okay? Like, I'm not gonna call this movie underrated. No, no, no. There's too much films that are really underrated. Like, it's just too much. Like, a lot of Disney movies are getting a lot of hate recently. Like, for example, um... Elemental got hate, um... Um, Strange World got hate this last year, which that movie is so bad. Even Lightyear got hate. Well, y'all hate this movie because there's something woke in it? Oh, there's nothing woke in here. It's just Disney's princess. Like, there's nothing LGBT in this movie. Nothing. And y'all just gave this low score of this movie? Like, oh my god. Like, when I first saw the early re reactions, I was so impressed because a lot of people are saying it's one of the best Disney films ever made. And now we get this? I was expecting like a 95% of Rotten Tomatoes or even a hundred. Yeah, a 95 or a hundred. Like, seriously, Rotten Tomatoes? Really? You give bad movies like um Ruby Gilman Teenage Crack and like almost like a 60 something percent of Rotten Tomatoes and good movies like Elemental. A 59, well, thank the Lord God that Elemental got a 75%, but still, like, Disney, what are you, like, Rotten Tomatoes, what are you doing to Disney, like, oh, by the way, I heard this film was gonna bomb at the box office, I gotta say this right now, rest in peace, Disney original films, until 2025, because we all know that Elio got delayed until 2025. Hopefully that film does not get a low score like this movie in Elemental. And we're getting Inside Out 2 next year. Which that's a sequel to a, a popular 2015 movie. Which please, for the love of God, Rotten Tomatoes, don't give that film a low score. If not, I'm done. I'm done. I just can't. I can't. And y'all even gave the Marvels like a low score. Which I can totally understand why... Because it's it's about like it's about a lot about women um about women feminism and y'all y'all some people are like oh this movie's well because it has women Bleh. no and like Disney I mean Rotten Tomatoes but don't but still guys I'm still really hyped for this movie I might go see this movie like on maybe on probably on after Thanksgiving, I might, because, um, I really just saw Trolls Band say that it was good. I thought it was better than the first two. So, yeah. Disney haters, you should be happy by now by this. Disney haters should be happy. 
I'm blaming, I am blaming Bob Iger, the Disney haters, and Rotten Tomatoes for this. I'm sorry, but Bob Iger, this is all your fault, man. I'm sorry. To be honest, Bob Iger deserves to be fired. Yeah, I'm not joking. I am dead serious. He deserves to be fired. Please bring Bob Cheptic back. Please, we need him back. We need to fire Bob Iger. He's ruining everything in Disney. We need Bob Cheptic back. Like, seriously. You can't just do this to a Disney film. Like, really? To a Disney film? That celebrates a hundred years for its animation company. Well, imagine if Pixar turns like a hundred years old in the next, in the next like twenty or thirty years, and one film that celebrates Pixar's a hundred anniversary gets a low score like this movie. Imagine that. That would be so crazy. Like, wow. Even I heard this movie's gonna bomb at the box office. It even says it's gonna be. Worse than the Marvels at the box office. Honestly, I I need to respect. We're gonna. I'm gonna have to respect my prayers. Rest in peace, Disney original animation. Rest in peace, Disney original animation. You had a lot of good movies. Well, only a few. Only Strange World was so bad. Strange World was so bad. Turning Red was honestly good, but. It's kind of cringe. Turning Red is good, but cringe. Um, Luca, yeah, I think that film is pretty good. Soul, that that was an awesome film. Um, I love that movie. And Onward, yeah, I'm sorry, guys, but that movie is a major disappointment. So, guys, rest in peace with Disney Original Animation until 2025. Because we're getting Elio in 2025 instead of next year. Because we're getting Inside Out 2 next year. I'm really hoping that Inside Out 2 does not get a low score like this movie. Or Frozen 3 or 4. They better not. Or either Zootopia 2. Please, Disney. Just please, Rotten Tomatoes. Just stop giving good movies a low score and bad movies a good score. Like, why? Like, like, I mean, like, it's like, it's just like. I feel like Rotten Tomatoes doesn't even care about Disney. Yeah, he doesn't even care about Disney, nor Illumination, or Marvels. Or Marvel Studios, sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. And, um, like, that is just crazy. Like, imagine if Walt Disney was in heaven. He would be so upset right now. He will be, he will be in panic. We can't, we can't just send this movie to hell, okay? Not every Disney original movie needs to be sent to hell. Like, this is just crazy. I'm sorry. I can't. Well, I guess there might be hope. For this movie to get a better score like they did with Elemental. Probably a 75 or like an 80. An 80. That would be good. Like, yeah, I am very sad that this movie's gonna bomb at the box office. Worse than the Marvels. Hey, at least it's gonna come out to Disney Plus May hopefully later this year in December, just like they did with both Encanto and Strange World. And this movie might be a mega, a huge success at Disney Plus, like they did with Elemental, because as I've heard, because as I heard that Elemental just became one of the most successful films on Disney Plus, next to Encanto. Like, yeah, I remember Encanto got so successful at Disney Plus, and it started to get popular, and its box office started to get huge too. Same with Elemental. So I'm hoping that this movie could be successful. At, on Disney Plus, because I heard it's gonna flop in theaters. I'm sorry, but it's gonna flop. Right now, I feel bad for Disney. I feel so bad for Disney. I, I, I will still support Disney for my whole entire life. I grew up watching Disney. I grew up watching Pixar. I grew up watching everything that's Disney or, or Pixar. I love Pixar and Disney animation. Like, Pixar and Disney shouldn't be treated like this. Like, they should be treated with respect. Just because they put LGBT stuff or 
um, woke tra woke things or generic stories does not mean they have to be treated like this. Like, there are actually a lot of people who actually grew up with Disney. Like, I don't care what people say about this movie. You know what? I'm still going to go see this in theaters like I did with the Marvels and Elemental. Yeah, because I heard that Elemental got also bad reviews and bombed at the box office, but then it got, it got, it started to, it started to grow up a little bit. So hopefully it will, it will happen the same thing as, um, Wish too. Hopefully. So my prayers are, so my wish for, if I grant for, um, King Magnifico, if I was in the movie, I would grant that this movie will be a box office hit on Disney Plus and and started to get really popular on Disney Plus, like Elemental and Encanto. So, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Um, I know this is kind of pretty disappointing for Disney. Right now, I feel so bad for them. I'm hoping their next their next picks their next film Inside Out 2 does not flop. Please. I actually please Disney, please don't let Inside Out 2 flop, please. Because honestly, I am so hyped for that movie. I think that's on that's honestly my most anticipated film of 2024 of next year. Yeah, right now Disney's in crisis right now. With this and also with the Marvels as well. Well, Marvels is still Disney, so duh, they're still in crisis. Disney's in crisis, you guys. We need to save Disney. We need to save Disney. Hashtag save Disney. Hashtag save Marvel. Hashtag save Pixar. Save Star Wars. Everything in Disney. They're going downhill. They're about to go... If... They're about to go um downhill. That's what that's what I heard from people. <sighs> well, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for my review on the Marvels. And I'll be doing three trailer reactions later this week. It will be on Inside Out 2, the Garfield movie, and Ghostbusters Afterlife. All right, bye, guys.